Today's lesson is on drawing triangles, and our objective today is for you to be able to draw a triangle using a protractor and a measure. And the measuring device I'm talking about is a ruler that has inches and centimeters on it. All right, in order to succeed in this lesson, you're going to have to know a couple of things. Number one, you're going to have to know how to use a protractor to draw angles and how to use a uh, measure. And, you know, with the measure, you have to be able to draw a certain length of a line segment that's going to be one side of the uh, shape, the triangles we're going to be drawing today. And then the third thing is you have to know how to use both ends of a protractor. Just remember that uh, there's zeros on both sides of this thing. Right, the vertex is always going to go in the middle, uh, but if the ray is coming out this end and you're measuring from this side of the triangle, you're going to use this set of numbers starting at zero and going up 10, 20, 30, 40, all the way you know into the obtuse angles here. But if the ray that you're measuring from is coming out this side of the triangle, then you're going to use the other set of numbers 0, 10, 20, 30, 40. And we really haven't been confronted with that at all. We've always been able to measure from one side of the uh, protractor, but today uh, on certain triangles you may have to measure from both sides of the triangle. Here's our notes for drawing triangles and the question is what are the steps of drawing a triangle? Alright, now I'm going to give you a little background information about uh, triangles and I'm going to start off with something that you're going to consider, you know, not very important for some reason, and it doesn't sound very important, but take a look at all these angles, right? You have a right angle over here that's a 90 degree angle, and a 50 degree angle over here, and a 40 degree angle over here, and we would say that's a right triangle because it has one right angle in it, but the thing that I really want you to know about triangles is that all of the angles that are measured are measured on the inside of the triangle. All right, so you have 50 degrees, but that's on the inside of our triangle. 40 degrees, yet it's on the inside of our triangle, and 90 degrees, that's on the inside of our triangle. And a lot of people are saying, well, duh, of course that's the case. But when you draw a triangle, a very common error is uh, after you draw your baseline, is to say, I can draw a 100 degree angle off of that. Um, and let's say that you're called on to draw a 100 degree angle. And you say, all right, 100 degree angle, I got it, check. But then you take this part over here and make a triangle out of it. Well, what happened to your 100 degree angle? It's now on the outside of the triangle, not on the inside of the triangle. All right, so just pay attention to that. When you draw an angle, make sure that that angle that you draw is on the inside part. So this shouldn't have closed off your triangle over here. This should all should be erased, and your triangle should have been closed off over here with your 100 degree angle inside of the triangle. Seems kind of strange, but again, uh, it happens all the time. So just be on your toes and on your lookout for that kind of thing. All right, just a review of uh, what kind of triangles that we might be drawing today. We are going to be drawing maybe an isosceles triangle, and we defined as an isosceles triangle as having two equal sides. And uh, we didn't really talk about this, but if it has two equal sides, it also has two equal angles. And you can see here that uh, this isosceles triangle has two sides that are equal plus two angles that are equal. An equilateral triangle next has three equal sides. That's the definition of an equilateral triangle, but it also has three equal angles. And then a scalene triangle, uh, which has zero sides the same length, will also have zero angles that are the same measure. And, you know, that will come up a little bit in our lesson, so I wanted to review that before we begin. All right, let us, let us begin here. Uh, and we're going to be drawing a triangle with a 100 degree angle that is between two two inch sides. All right, so it should look something like this. You have 100 degree angle and then uh, you have a side over here that's two inches and a side over here that's two inches and your angle should be between those two sides and then at the end we can just connect the, the ends of the sides together so our um, triangle should look something like this 
probably not exactly like that, but something like that. All right, so how do we uh, draw triangles? The first thing that we have to do in any shape, but um, you know, triangles are included in that, is draw yourself a nice long baseline. All right, and that's the bottom part of your triangle. That's this uh, line right here that we're drawing. So once we draw our long baseline, we're going to take a two inch segment of that, right? And so we need a two inch side. We need two of them, but right now I'm gonna draw one of them. So back with my measure, I'm gonna find a, a spot within this uh, line that I drew to draw some marks to mark off two inches. All right, that's right at the two inch, uh, right at the zero, and that's right at the two. So now what I've done is I've <coughs> drawn a two inch line segment right there. All right, so that's one of my two sides. And now I need to draw a 100 degree angle between the two sides. So this is where it comes into play, where you need to keep that 100 degree angle inside of your um, of your triangle. <coughs> All right, so here we go with the 100 degree angle. I'm gonna put my protractor on either one of these things. If I could put it on that one or put it on that one, either two points. Uh, and with this one, I'm gonna put it on the right side and measure from the ray that's coming out the left side over here. So I'm using this set of numbers, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. And when I do get to 100, I will make a little mark on there. Well, mark uh, didn't get made, there's a mark. <clears throat> and now with my straight edge ruler, hope that get out of the way, thank you. With my straight edge ruler, I'm going to make a um, 100, or excuse me, a, a nice straight line in between my marks, in between that mark there and that mark there. All right, and move that thing out of the way. So I have my 100 degree angle, and it's good to label along the way because then you can uh, make sure that you're fulfilling your um, directions up here. So 100 degree angle and right now it's next to one two inch side but it has to be between another two inch side. I got one of the two inch sides and now I need to have another two inch side over here. If I use my two inch side on this side over here, the 100 degree angle is in between those two sides, right? So reading the directions carefully it says 100 degree angle between two two inch sides. So let me get rid of that. Uh, and so I need to measure up this uh, new side up here, two inches. I brought out the wrong tool. There it is. Putting uh, my zero right at the corner there and finding where two inches would be and it'd be right there. Okay, so now I have a two inch side on the bottom, a two inch side on the right side. And the only thing I have to do now is connect this dot and that dot. I don't need to measure any angles, I just need to connect those two points. Uh, and so I'm gonna put my measure on one side over there, bring it down to the other, and then connect those two points. And now I have a triangle that has a 100 degree angle between two two inch sides, and all of the markings I made on the outside of this can be erased. Oh, I erased a little bit too much there. All right, there it is. Moving on. Now the next task is to draw a triangle with a five centimeter side between a 70 degree angle and a 50 degree angle. Uh, and so I'm gonna draw a five centimeter side, that'll be five centimeters, and on one side I should have a 50 degree angle, the other side I should have about a 70 degree angle, and then if I draw the two angles up where they meet, this forms the uh, other point of the triangle. Uh, so I need to measure first on the bottom and then draw two angles off of that, and it should look something like that. And let me get my measure device. Draw a nice long baseline. And I always draw longer than I need because it will help me with my 
protractor. All right, so now I need to have a five centimeter segment of that line, right? So um, let's see, I can pick one part there and then measure over from that five centimeters. Get it perfect if you can, and then uh, mark your five centimeters. Okay, now we have a five centimeter line segment there, but I'm still not erasing these other parts of the line because they will help me with my protractor. All right, now I need a 50 degree angle and a 70 degree angle. And my 50 degree angle, again, has to be on the inside part of my um, triangle, and my 70 degree angle has to be on the inside part of my triangle. So when I put my protractor over here, I have to make it slightly smaller now so it fits in the window. Put my protractor over here. I am going to measure from this point here, that's my vertex, but my ray is coming out the zeros on this side over here. So I'm going to measure up to 50 from 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, and then 50 and make a mark at 50. And now connect that. Uh, together. There we go. And I'm going to draw this line really long. Okay, so that when I draw my other line, it's definitely going to meet it. Right? If I draw a 50 line and I stop there, when I draw my 70 degree line, it might not meet it. So now I need to draw my 70 degree line, grab my protractor, and put it over here on the new vertex and now I'm not measuring from this side anymore up to 70 because that would put it on the outside part of the triangle now I have to measure from this side over here and go up to 70 uh, 10 20 30 40 50 60 and 70 right there make a mark and now I can take my straight edge and um, and get there, connecting those two dots, or those two points now. All right, and so here's my five centimeter side down here. Here's my 50 degree angle over here. Here's my 70 degree angle over here. And I did not have to measure that angle or that side or that side. I just drew a line measured off five centimeters of that and then drew two angles that were going to intersect up there. If you draw angles that are not going to intersect, then you're not going to draw a triangle. All right, we have a very short uh, assignment today out of our homework book. It's going to be uh, one through four on H10-7. And then uh, what I want you to do also is take a look at number six and tomorrow or uh, when I see you next, explain to me why is number six impossible? You cannot possibly draw the triangle for number six. If you want to give it a try, you can, but it is impossible. All right, good luck, everybody.